Off in the Papa Junk shop. Well, you can probably hear my heater running in the background. I fired her up today. The last uh, about week or so, it's been like in the 30s in the morning, and it finally cooled down in here, so I decided to better make sure the heater's going to work. So that's what you hear in the background. So I thought I'd update you on this EA Sun. Uh, your sine wave inverter. It's been running for just about six weeks now, 24-7, and it's done fine. Hasn't missed a beat. Uh, I put my other 2,000 water back in just a few minutes ago. So I did make some changes to it, and when I was uh, playing with a windmill, my batteries were up and I wanted them to be down so I could see the windmill how it was performing so in the process of running the batteries down I put a little bit bigger load I normally have uh, my shop lights and a few other things it's, it's around 400 watts or so so I thought oh, I'll tack on another 100 watts so I just threw a uh, 100 watt light bulb incandescent bulb on it and it would shut down. And it didn't do that before when I run the heaters on it. And I couldn't come up with anything uh, <clears throat> that would cause that. But if I had the 100 watt light on already and I turned my 300 watts worth of shop lights on, it didn't bother me. It seemed to only do it when I added that 100 watts on top of the existing load. So I thought, well, maybe it's these input capacitors, because they're not very big. They're only, uh, they're only 16 volt, which I didn't care for from the get-go. They're only 3,300 microfarads, so I ordered some of uh, these. 35 volt, 6800. And you can see physically they're quite a bit larger. As a matter of fact, I don't think you could fit anything else in there any bigger. And once I did that, then I could add that 100 watts on top of the other and it didn't bother any. So I think it was just the initial surge when it already had a load on it. Although I don't know why my heaters didn't bother, but I did watch them, and when you first turn them on, it's not like a full load. It eventually creeps up, which is just the opposite of what I thought. So I'll open this up and I'll show you what I did. And I also experimented with the, the fans. I don't know if you remember I said something about I was going to turn them around. Or in this case, I guess it's just one fan. And have it blow cool air in. Well, it didn't work as well that way as it did drawing air in. And it just didn't seem like it was moving much air, so I added some more ventilation. I'll show you that in a minute here. So I'll pop the top off. And you can see my four capacitors that I replaced. This is the original. And I also, this just had little brackets down here holding uh, these MOSFETs up against the case. So I added some aluminum pieces to act as heat sinks too. And I did the same on this side for the AC side. And I also drilled some holes right in front of those heat sinks. So it does draw air right in there, and I did the same over here. 
I put two holes in front of each one of these heat sinks. So now that fan can draw air right in right there. And I also uh, stuck it on the mill and I cut a couple of grooves on each side here for a little bit of additional air because there really isn't a lot of place for air to come in. So, and I think that made quite a difference in uh, the cooling of it because the fan only comes on occasionally and when it does it doesn't stay on steady where before it pretty much stayed on and, and it got quite warm so I'm pretty happy with that improvement so in the missing digit uh, the seller has supposedly got one on its way for me to replace that so I haven't seen it yet they said it might take a while so but I just thought I'd give you a quick update. It seems to be a pretty decent little inverter. Um, of course I did make some modifications, but I just thought you might like to know how it was going. So if you enjoyed her, give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.